welcome back to my channel my name is rejoice emmanuel aka royal diamond one as you can see we are reviewing cosmetics and before i start thank you so much for 3000 subscribers we are almost even at 4000 in two weeks we gained 1000 subscribers thank you this beautiful subscribers welcome to my channel i really appreciate that you actually clicked on my video and decided to click the subscribe button <sighs> i would try my hardest best to make you great and good contents so you don't get bored basically here we are traveling we're going on adventures we love adventure we don't like the easy way adventure and we are exploring virus cultures and lifestyle i mean we are open-minded here and a little bit of beauty stuff like you're saying reviewing unboxing we are doing a hair as well i hope you enjoy and i appreciate you once more thank you so much i hope you enjoy my channel this channel our channel we are not perfect we are learning and growing constantly all right let's get to the video First, we are going to be. It's my first um, time using Kiko. First time getting their uh, products. So, this is their Hydra Glow. Um, Hydra Pro Glow. It has this luminous. It has this luminous effect. Also, even has SPF 10 for all skin types, which makes it has hyaluric acid and acti glow so we're going to apply I wash my hands guys so it's the primer mm -hmm. let's see okay not bad mm -hmm. I like it it gives you that moisturizing effect <laughs> But does it give the glow? Yeah, a little bit. It has this glitter. Yeah. So next, I'm gonna be using this Kiko Milano Skin Tune Concealer. First, I'm gonna be using it to close my dark spots. I have them a lot. Because of acne, guys. My skin is prone to acne, so I make sure I get products that wouldn't make me break out. To blend it out, I'm going to be using, I got this newly as well, Manly Pro. Manly Pro, it's in the number 19. This one is for foundation, but I'm going to use it to blend out the skin tone concealer it's more convenient since i'm applying it all over my skin mm -hmm. oh, wow you see it's really skin tone guys it's giving you that everyday no makeup look mind you i feel still hydrated from the and this concealer you can use it not only as a primer but normal face hydration hydrating cream so guys you see that you wouldn't even believe i had black spots you believe you think that this is just my skin like no makeup on it's really good skin they knew why they called it skin tone concealer and this foundation brush not bad i like it it blends really well it's easier actually than those bigger ones so nice and soft next we're gonna be using this NARS foundation in the shade of MD 3.3 okay they said shake well yeah we shake it well oh I don't want to use too much because I really don't want to use too much of makeup right now. I'm not going anywhere afterwards. Maybe take some videos. Okay. 
I put a little bit of too much. But it's okay. We'll blend that out later. Oh, nice. This brush is, is, is a game changer. It's the deal. Wow, so soft. It's not even spooky at all. You know some brushes? Even if they're soft, they might be spooky. There you go. I love it, guys. Look at how the way it blended. Look at the way the foundation brush bent, blended it, guys. Whew. And look at the glow on my face. I'm not, fin I'm, I'm not finished yet. I am not finished yet. So this, I actually save it here. It's better so as not to scatter the brush. Next. Again, Kiko. Milano concealer. This one is the full coverage dark circles concealer. I'm gonna be applying that on my under eye. Excuse these drawings. When did I start to do this? It's the first time. Where did it come from? It's like I'm doing some meditation right now. <laughs> okay. I don't want to apply much here, just a little. <laughs> see, as I said, I don't want to put too much. What am I doing? Making the tumble. I'm going to be using the Huda Beauty Conceal and Blend for face. It's kind of spooky though. But it's blending well. I mean the brush. Okay, it's blending well. It blends out well, but it's spooky. It's really spooky. Especially for the under eye. So we're gonna be using the smaller part. So for many probits it. So I'm going to be blending this part. I'm not going to be drawing my eyebrows. I don't want to really draw them. This is actually a permanent makeup. It's like powder coating, like with some technical stuff. So it's going to last me one, two, three years, depending on my skin. But I don't think this will last long because it's like, it's too light and I don't have a lot of hair here. So. I think the concealer I should add more of it to be able to see like how it is for real but so far it's good like this little amount I added it's really good I like it I like it it's not bad everything is good Huda Beauty face and blend conceals concealing blend blends well but it's kind of spooky but you might be okay with it everyone with your choice we're gonna use this Manly Pro number six for powder. It's Gosh Chameleon Powder. Transparent actually. So let's see how transparent that is. Sorry to put some powder. Up, maybe to set a bit. Vivian Sabo. Sorry, got it's like eyeshadow palette in the lemon citron it looks beautiful but i haven't used it yet so i got this i love revolution slight um, contour palette sets 
it's choco and it smells really nice it smells like chocolate this is for the contour and this is highlighting this brush for face sculpture contour I don't remember what brand is this to be honest I will have to check and then write it I never used a powder dry contour before so it's kind of feels weird let's see kind of feels weird and dry don't judge me if I'm not doing this right I'm still a learner <laughs> I'm still a learner. We're all learning. Yeah, here we are not perfect on this channel. We learn and grow. Okay, not bad. I love what is. Oh, I feel like adding more because it's giving this pretty. Mm. Mm. To be blending it out. It blends well. Let's do the highlighting. The same company, the same brand for the sculpting. We're going to be using the same I Love Revolution for the highlighting as well. Okay, wait, I made a mistake. Sorry, guys. Now let's do some blushing. So we're going to be using the same Kiko. I got Kiko Milano in uh, it's a color blush in the color. It's kind of kind of smart number eight, but it's giving this dark pitch light mixed with orange kind of vibe. The color is so attractive. Look at it, guys. I love it. And the brush also new from what is it Naj Oliari so let's see oh hmm not bad who else applied blush on their forehead <laughs> I do the brush is very good this is good it's quality it's really good it's good this is what I used to use. Oh, I love this. Even if it's a little bit scoopy. I've been using this for how many years? Um, five years? No. Yes. Five, four years. And it's my favorite. I love it so much. It's good. I don't even know the, the brand. It's a good brush. I would never throw that away. Smell me. Smells like chocolate. Hmm, it's really nice, not bad. So sad after this makeup, I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> Just want to make a video for you guys. I have some videos I'm editing, but it will take a little bit of time. Plus my work, don't have much time in editing. So this one is to, it will be very quick. It's a quick one. So I just want to put something for you guys so you don't get bored. So yeah. What do you think guys look at look at that i'm going to be using my old lavelle collection blush it's my five no matter what it's my five you see oh the pink is giving imagine when you mix it with a light pink and this kiko milano peach pink oh sh it's giving look at my skin so i also got this 3d hydra lip oil which i'm very disappointed in because it's quite pricey you put it at first it's nice but then give it two three minutes and your lips are so dry my lips get so dry and it hurts like hurts really bad so what i do apply your lip gloss on top in that way your lips aren't gonna dry up quickly even this um parcel i got it last year one year ago it's very cheap but then i love it it's really hydrates my skin my lip i mean so this is for wet 
it's an Italian product, lip gloss. I like it. Look. Uh -huh, another something. Look at this brush I saw and I got. It's like a potable brush, Rankan. Potable brush for blush, as I understand. Blush or even powder. I love it. It's really potable. Let me close it again. Nobody would know. Who would know you have a brush with you? How would they know? Tell me, how would they know? Comment on the section, what is your power? My, my battery died, guys. Okay, so my favorite from all of this makeup haul is Kiko Milano Skin Tone Concealer because I use this every day. I just cover the dark spots on my skin and I'm good to go. It tunes with other parts of my skin. You don't have to apply it all over the face, just on that imperfections part. So it's my favorite. So next we're going to be reviewing this makeup brush. Washer or cleanser, what it is. It's a twin one, ultrasound. At first when I tried it with just water, it didn't clean. I didn't wash the brush as I want. So I got this serum for cleaning, makeup brushes and sponge. So let's try. Uh oh, what's happening? <laughs> I saw in the reviews that some people use it once and it stopped working. So let's try with another block. I changed the block. working depends on the block actually you must use something with high voltage <sighs> this makes life easy if it works perfectly for real and i realized on the other video i was realizing that this light is so bright so excuse if you're seeing some imperfections on the makeup it's because of the light trust me let's reduce it Wow, you can see the water, the color is even changing. It's oh my god, look at even the food of beauty that was just so brown now and it's white. This is a, a life changer, it's a game changer. Life gets easier. So this, you can pour out the water and rinse it. Let me do that. Now I change the water. You can actually leave it for long. I didn't leave it for long because I'm making a review for you guys, but it's cool. I like it. It works only with this. Take note. Just get any cleanser for makeup brushes and sponge. Oh, I can't wait. I'm so impatient. Look at that brush that was brown and on it's like almost white. Of course, you have to leave it for long. So it's three in one, you pour this water away and you just air dry the makeup brush. Oh, so sensitive. You just air dry it. And that's it. It's really cool. I like it. So we're gonna compare it with this. Also, Manly Pro Begamot Makeup Brush Cleansing Wipes. This one is also fast and convenient because, I mean, you don't have to go through the stress of pouring water in the machine for the brush cleaning or rains. And this, you just hold it like this. And you're good to go. You just add dry it as well. You don't need to rinse off. It's also good. I like both. This is more faster look at that and it cleans well i think that the electronic washer i'll be using it on weekends but then when i'm in a rush in weekdays i just use the wipes and it's good perfect so they gave me this gift it wasn't where did i buy it? no yeah good apple 
called Apple. So the gift, a tester for Versace Crystal Noir. Let's try it. Mm. Not bad. I like it. Mm. Authentic. It's authentic. It's authentic. It gives us authentic scent, but it's not, it doesn't scent like the Versace I tried. Maybe it's not exactly Crystal Noir. Right, just how I try. Oh, it makes me smell authentic. Now I'm ready to go for our day. Hmm. All right, that'll be the end of this video. Thank you once more for my new subscribers. I hope you enjoy all of my videos. See you in my other video. Bye. Love you.